So I want to talk about erythritol. It's a sugar alcohol, but it doesn't have alcohol in it. Sometimes have a, people have a confusion thinking that they're consuming alcohol. No, it has no alcohol in it. Um, erythritol is an alternative sweetener. It's 70% of the sweetness as actual table sugar. But it has a cooling factor, so it, it's kind of like a cold sensation. Um, it's zero on the glycemic index, so it does not increase your blood sugars. Bacteria have a hard time consuming this sugar, um, so you're not going to have as much digestive problem as other uh, sugar alcohols like maltitol will. That actually creates a lot of bloating and gas. This one you'd have to consume a little bit more before you have that effect. But in large quantities you're going to have a laxative effect, uh, stomach rumbling, and probably a lot of gas. Okay. Now. A lot of products that use this alternative sugar also use inulin. This is misspelled inulin. Okay, this is a fiber from chicory root and from other things as well. This is the thing that causes more bloating because it's a soluble fiber, which is consumed by the microbes because microbes eat fiber, and um, they ferment, and you're, you can get a lot of gas and bloating. So, if you were to consume this without inulin, you'd probably be better off. Um, and probably in small quantities, it might be okay. So what is the problem with erythritol? Well, there's several ways they make it. Uh, if it's made with yeast, it's fed glucose from corn. And most corn is GMO, which means it's laced with glyphosate, an herbicide. So that is the big problem. And I think um, there's, basically I would look at erythritol as two different versions, the GMO version and the non-GMO version. I think uh, a lot of the bad things you see about erythritol on the internet is pretty much only because it's GMO, because you're consuming a product that's been exposed to um, GMO corn, and that's the problem. So uh, would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it. Just make sure it is non-GMO erythritol. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, I appreciate your attention, and if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and subscribe, and I will definitely keep you updated on future events, live events, and webinars that we're going to do very soon.